G'day, and welcome to today's Bottom Up Boats video, where we're gonna do a follow-up to our most popular video ever, showing you how to tie multiple soft shackles, many of them within less than 10 seconds. With over 420,000 views and upwards of 328 comments from the Bottom Up Boats crew, we thought it was long overdue that we made our soft shackles in less than 10 second mark two. The first top tip from the comments was to actually start your soft shackle by doing the clamp first rather than second. In this case, we've gone with the cow hitch before putting both of the tails through the opening in the cow hitch and finishing it off with a figure of eight using both strands of the rope, opening out your cow's hitch to complete your soft shackle, figure of eight stopper with the cow's hitch. The second top tip works really well, particularly with thicker rope. Rather than doing your stopper knots with two thicknesses, simply put an overhand knot in each of your tails before creating your cow hitch as your clamp, putting the two stoppers through, clamping it tight, and there you have it. The cow hitch clamping up against two overhand knots. If you'd like more detailed explanations of any of the knots used in today's video, click on the card up in the top right hand corner for full length videos of all the knots used. The next suggestion was a novel idea. Start by putting an overhand knot in both threads of your rope, put your finger in and twist the bight around and around and around before putting your stopper knot through the last loop and pulling it tight. I'm not sure I'd trust this one with my life, but a novel way of creating a soft shackle nonetheless. The fourth suggestion was a novel one. Once again, finishing it off with the cow's hitch for the clamp, but starting this part of the soft shackle first, taking the two tails through and then finishing with a surgeon's knot. Left over right twice and then right over left before pulling it tight. Not having tied one of these before, it was quite a big stopper knot and it was a little tricky to get it tightened. But once you got it in place, it was quite a big stopper knot that when you open up your cow's hitch as the clamp and slide it up against it, comes up with a fairly novel looking soft shackle, which is relatively easy to tie. John Callow 22 suggested we use the Seplin knot as our stopper. We're doing it with the 69 method, six with the tail sitting on top, and the nine with the tail looped underneath. Put the six on top of the nine before taking the six tail out and around and up, and the nine tail up, over, and down. You then pull the knot tight, which is a little tricky with such a small shackle, but taking your time, teasing it into place, creates the Zeppelin knot. Once again, we're gonna finish with the cow's hitch as our clamp to complete another unique shot shackle. This time, it is the Zeppelin knot finished with a cow's hitch. The next suggestion in the comments was to finish with a bull hitch. You start this one by creating a cow's hitch. You pull the bite forward and up and put a twist in it before pulling both of your working ends through to create the bull hitch. You then simply put your tails through and in this case we're going to finish it off with a simple overhand knot on both of the lines. Tighten up your bull hitch and there you have your soft shackle. The bull hitch clamp on the overhand knot. 
The next suggestion in the comments was to finish it with a pile hitch. Put a bite in the rope, wrap it over your finger, around on top of both the working and standing ends to create the pile hitch. Then just grab your two tails, slide it through as you pull out your finger and you've got your pile hitch clamp. Simple overhand knot on the two threads to come up with another variation of our 10 second shop shackles. This time we have the overhand knot and the pile hitch. The last suggestion, which was short and sweet, came directly from the one and only Ashley Book of Knots by combining knot number 526 with 1126. If you don't already have a copy of Ashley's Book of Knots, it comes highly recommended. If you take a look in the description below, you can get some product links to pick up your very own copy. As described in early chapters of Ashley's Book of Knots, 526 or the Oysterman's Knot is also called the Ashley Stopper Knot. Take the working end underneath the standing end, then pull it through to create a loop. Then taking the working ends over the standing ends, up and under the loop, and pulling it tight to create the Oysterman's or Ashley's Stop a knot. It's then over to Ashley's Book of Knots 1126, the double ring knot, which is often used by lobster fishermen. Take your bite and lift it up, pulling the two ends down to create a loop. Then from the top, go down through the loop, grabbing both the working ends and pulling them through before twisting out the knot to create the hitch. It's very similar to a cow hitch, but with the loop ending up on the other side and a small crossover underneath on the back side. These can be teased out if you work the lines around, but there's no need for that. All you have to do to complete the knot is to slide number 526 through 1126 and you're done made it this far and want to support the channel why don't you show everyone you're part of the bottom up boats crew by picking up some of our great tees hoodies and hats from the merch store link below if you've made it all the way through this video and haven't seen part one it is a must watch there's also all the detailed explanations of the knots used in this video in the 10 second soft shackle knot playlist.